I actually did create a petition, a fruit mix and a vegetable. I don't know, I just saw something blue in the tank. And I actually do have some footage from different times that they change shells. So it is literally like four times the size of the shell. That is also another reason that I'm upgrading the tank. See there's paint chips inside. Hello and welcome back to the channel everyone. Yes, that is the ceiling right there. I'm standing on my bed currently and I'm like, maybe I have like allergies today or maybe I'm getting sick. I don't really know. So I might sniff and my voice may be a tad bit weird. So this video right here is a very requested, long awaited, overdue video that first of all, I owe you guys, but also that I've been wanting to do. I've kind of been planning it out. Finally, I'm going to go ahead and do it. So this right here is part two of the rescuing of the hermit crabs from the beach market. If you haven't seen part one where I actually rescued the hermit crabs, you can go ahead and check it out. I'll put a little I card up here. For everyone who did watch it or is going to watch it, whatever, thank you for all of the support on that video. We have almost 500,000 views on that video. I never thought that it would get that many views and all the support from you guys and the awareness that we spread. One more thing about that is I actually did create a petition. If you guys want, would like to sign it, all you have to do is put like your name, I think. I can't remember because I had I did it a while ago, but I, do I did create a petition. If you'd like to sign it, it would really help me out and help spread awareness, problems and everything. So I will link that down below. I'll also kind of put a picture up on the screen or maybe like do a screen recording of like how to do it. It's really simple. Everyone who signs is a big help every so yes these are the hermit crabs right in here don't don't ask me why i have this okay but this video is going to go ahead and update you guys on everything that has happened since i purchased them like literally everything um just a little spoiler alert there was a lot of changing of shells there's some cool stories that i have and some other stuff and we're also going to be moving the hermit crab tank to the fish room because in a couple videos i'm actually going to be going i'm actually going to be upgrading their tank and they're going to have it's going to be really really cool so i am going to have to move the tank to the fish room and then we can go ahead and start the update and I can show you guys everything. It's gonna be really cool. It's gonna be a really good video, so stay tuned. Try to watch the whole thing if you can. I don't wanna bore you. There's a lot of good stuff in here. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, just move the tank to the fish room. Now this is completely empty. So I'm trying to think of what enclosure or enclosures we could put up here because it just looks really weird without nothing without anything being here comment down below what you think what animal what enclosure whatever we should put up here because i don't know it just looks empty now and i'm gonna miss having the hermit crabs here okay so the hermit crab tank is now here it is not gonna be staying here because i am gonna be upgrading their tank um it's gonna be much much bigger and i think that's gonna go down there on that shelf as you can see one of them is kind of sorry for the glare but one of them is sitting right back there as you can kind of see He's kind of just chilling. That's Mr. Krabs right there. Scooby is sitting right there, like Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo is sitting right there. So now you may be wondering what happened these last few months after I rescued them because I kind of didn't put too much out there and I definitely didn't do a part two. So for starters, sorry, I know the lighting is like right on my end. Well, I guess I'm just gonna kind of record like this because the lighting is just not really helping me today. But you may be wondering what happened these last few months after I rescued them. Also where they've been, how they've been, everything that's happened in this video is going to tell you. So to start off, when I first bought them, I put them in the tank and as you guys saw in the video, I drove them home. Now home was three hours away. It ended up taking me over six hours to get back because of traffic and everything. It was a very, very bad experience in terms of driving. But as soon as I put them in the tank, they immediately buried themselves. And I think that was just because they didn't have any substrate in the tank that they were in, well, the cage they were in when they were being sold. So they buried themselves right away. When I got home, I got them water and I got them a fruit mix and a vegetable mix at Walmart. If you guys saw that part of the video, it was kind of like the end of the video, but I did get them that and they did eat some of the vegetables, some of the fruit here and there. They don't really, hermit crabs don't exactly eat a lot of food at once. So it's kind of hard to gauge exactly like, you know, how much each of them is eating. Well, at least in my experience, and that has been the biggest struggle these last few months is trying to get them to eat. So obviously they've been eating because, you know, they've survived for the last four months, for the last four and a half months. But the problem is, is that they're not eating like a lot and I'm not really sure how to gauge how much is enough. So I would give them, you know, a strawberry, a grape, a few different types of meat. I would give them pretty much anything that was acceptable for them to eat. I would give them a little bit, kind of like each each time I would feed them, I'd give them a variety of stuff to see what they would eat. And honestly, like I didn't see them eat too much. So I ended up buying the hermit crab like cakes that they actually gave them when they were in the store. And I figured, well, maybe I can try that, kind of mix it with the fruit. I don't know, they seem to be eating those more than like the actual fruit and vegetables. I'm kind of having a problem with that right now is trying to get them to eat like the healthy food for them, like the fruits and the vegetables and the meat and everything like that because they need that protein. That right there is their food dish, which they have, um, 
managed to turn over because of a few reasons. Now, that's another reason that I'm actually going to be upgrading their tank because as you guys saw, they're no longer in their painted shells. Now, one of them, Ubi, recently transitioned out of his shell back there so i do have to remove that right now they buried themselves and then scooby came to the surface and he was the most active he was around for probably like two months straight he was just out on top of the tank active at night active during the day just everything eating drinking everything so i was kind of getting concerned because i hadn't seen the other two hermit crabs but then eventually the one with the hello kitty shell which i ended up naming lucky so lucky would come up lucky and scooby would be on top for a while but the other one mr crabs i could not find like he would just not come out i didn't want to disturb him though so i didn't want to like dig him up then i did the hermit crab maze if you guys saw that video kind of did a slight update in that video i'll throw it to that clip the food pops up like a chia pet within literally one day and then it gets really bad the second day because i like to change out the food every other day there's a raspberry under there you just you can't see it unfortunately even though my hermit crab loves this reptile like there is mold all over it and he really likes to go and hide sorry for the glare of the light but he likes to go and hide up in there um but unfortunately i do have to remove it and i'm not going to try and save it or anything because i don't know if you guys can really tell but there's mold all over it so i'm only going to go ahead and take one of the hermit crabs out the reason is because the other two have been buried for like a week and a half they may have come out at night um i'm not 100 percent sure but i have not seen them and they could be molting or something so i don't want to disturb them so i'm just going to let them stay buried in the dirt Scooby came out, I did the whole hermit crab maze with him, and then like about a week and a half, two weeks later, he buried himself for a while. So I didn't see any of the hermit crabs for about three weeks, and I was getting really concerned because obviously like they could be molting, they could be in distress, I didn't know what the reason was. I didn't want to disturb him though because that could really mess them up. Scooby, that boy right there, came back up and he was really active. He was coming out, doing everything. By the way, there isn't water in the bowls or food because they knocked them all over plus the car ride so i gotta fill those back up before i leave scooby came back out he was doing well then he kept changing from shell to shell to shell to shell and finally he found that shell and he loves it so i do have to get rid of that painted shell back there but mr crabs back there which was the biggest one he's in the biggest shell and the problem is is that all of his tunnels are huge they're really really big he has a really big shell and unfortunately he's kind of created this cave right here in the middle which is why the food and the water bowl have fallen so that's another thing I've kind of run into and that's another reason that I'm upgrading their tank because they definitely need something bigger than this because his shell alone, he creates the biggest tunnels and it's about the size of like, the, it's, a, it's a decent sized shell. So he definitely needs a bigger tank and he kind of has like a medium sized tank. The only thing is I have not seen Lucky in quite a bit, but I don't smell anything from the tank. So I don't know that she's passed. Now in terms of changing shells, I actually do have some footage from different times that they change shells. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw you guys to that footage right now because I think it's really interesting and cool. I actually just missed the other day when Scooby was changing his shell like for the last time. Um, I was just about to hit it and he just, he jumped right over into their shell. So I witnessed it myself and it's really cool to watch, but unfortunately I didn't get the full thing on camera, but here are some times that they actually change shells and I got it on camera. All right, so I know my hair is a mess and my voice is going to be all messed up because I literally just woke up. But I always, like, wake up, you know, go to the bathroom, do what I got to do, and then I come in here and I always check on, like, hermit crabs, geckos, like, just to make sure everything's all good, right? I don't know. I just saw something blue in the tank and I was like, what? What is that? <laughs> I haven't seen the one with the blue shell and the one with the Hello Kitty. I haven't seen them for, like, two months. But it's the blue hermit crab shell and the other shell is gone. So I guess he changed shells overnight. All right, so I just took out the shell and I forgot that it was an elephant. Like literally, I could not remember. I thought it was maybe Scooby-Doo or something, but it's an elephant. So that's literally how long it's been since I've seen that. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead right now and fill up their water dishes, um, change out their food. If it So my camera's having a bit of a problem, but I'm gonna go ahead and take these water dishes out right now so I can clean them and give them fresh water because they make a mess of these things, their water dishes. All right, so let's go ahead and just go rinse these. This is the salt water one, this is the fresh water one. So I'm gonna try my best to remember <laughs> which is which.
fresh water bowl right here, salt water back there. Like I said, their tank is getting redone tomorrow because they've made an because they've made an absolute disaster out of this tank. So don't worry about it being like not the neatest and everything that is going to change. All right, so this right here is my pre-mixed salt water solution. I use Instant Ocean for my salt because that's I've read that's the best salt. So aside from that, aside from the eating, aside from all that stuff, they drink a lot of water. And that is also another reason that I'm upgrading the tank because they need bigger water dishes. Scooby can still kind of fit in the water dish, but Mr. Krabs, like, he can get his body in, but he can't get the full shell, and that's definitely important. So I do need to get bigger water dishes. I have to make sure that they can actually fit inside of the water dishes and fully submerge themselves because that is really important so they can keep the salinity and everything in their tank and in their shell correct. That's also something I'm going to be doing for the hermit crabs because although they found these shells, they definitely need more and especially Mr. Krabs, that's the biggest shell that I have and he may want something that's a little bit bigger. So I just want to show you, okay, this is this little shell right here. This little thing right here is how big of a shell he was in. This is how big of a shell that he went into. And actually, that one's a little bit bigger. So even bigger than this. That isn't okay. That is a huge difference. And like I said, the one he's in is actually bigger than this one. It's the biggest shell I could find. It is literally like four times the size of the shell he was in. Look at all the paint. Look at all the paint that chipped. Now, I'm not 100% sure if it is toxic, but I'm going to assume that it is. And if anything, it flaking like this will irritate their skin. Because look at it. See, there's paint chips inside of there. It gets in there and then they can't get it out. And it pains them. I mean, it's itchy. It's uncomfortable. It scratches them. And again, why painted shells are just not good. Even if they're not... Even if they're not toxic, it will still irritate them when it chips and everything and gets into their shell. So yeah, this video was kind of a mixture of like voiceovers and video clips and videos from... I hope this video helped to, um, I don't know, just like push the awareness and the message that these hermit crabs do not belong in painted shells in souvenir shops on beaches. It's terrible. It is a terrible, disgusting thing and it really needs to be stopped and that's why I have that petition. So if you guys want to sign it, like I said, it's down below in the description. The more people that sign, the better and hopefully together within you know the next amount of time we can actually end hermit crabs being sold and maybe it just at the very least that store in particular because they sell a lot of them they have a huge they had a huge cage as you guys saw so that is it for this video i know this video was very long awaited i will try and do another update as more things happen but that update probably will take a little bit of time a little bit of time just because you know the next video i do on them will be their new tank which will be very soon and aside from that, I don't really know what else is going to happen. So I will do more videos with the hermit crabs because I know you guys love them. And it's something that is very interesting and needs to be brought to a lot of people's attention. So thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you for sticking with me till, until part two. It took me a while to kind of get everything together, get everything where I needed it to be for watching. Don't forget to check out part one if you haven't seen it already. Other than that, I will see you guys next time with another video. Bye.